Tech. In today's video, I would like to share a list of my top 10 apps that I think are extremely useful for day-to-day -day use. Now let's not waste any time and dive right in and start off with one of my favorite apps. And also, if you're interested, a link to each app featured in this video will be listed in the description below. All right, so the first app I want to talk about is called Hex Lock. Hex Lock basically allows you to lock your apps. Simple as that. If you do not want people going through your photos, using your camera, changing your settings, reading your text messages, or reading your emails, etc., go get Hexlock right now. Link is in the description below. Now it's free to grab and boy, it's a gorgeous little interface. Let me show you how it works. So let's uh, launch the application right here. Now, as you can see, I do have a pin number set up and that's not the only thing you can use. You can actually use your fingerprints, which is fantastic. So let me just put the pin number in right now and go in and as you can see you will see some profiles you'll see the office profile you'll see the home profile and um, let me just quickly just use the office profile because I'm in the office right now and let me show you how to lock apps really quickly and then I'm going to go into some more details so if you swipe up you see the profile on the top over here and then you simply pick the applications or settings that you want to lock now as you can see I have the settings at lock and uh, if I scroll down, I lock the camera. And if you look over here, I lock the gallery and Instagram application. And that's just for a demonstration. Now, if you do scroll down, you can basically lock any app that you want. It's a long list of apps. Every app that you install, you can lock it. Now, let me demonstrate how it works. So let's go back out. And let, let's say that I'm somebody that is go, trying to go into somebody else's phones and trying to change their settings for no reason. So if I scroll down and tap on the settings, this is exactly what happens. I actually get rejected to go into the settings. Unless I know the password, I cannot go into the settings, obviously. But the great thing is if you look at this thing over here, nowhere over here does it say Hex Lock. So I don't even know that Hex Lock is the app that is in fact locking this thing down. And of course, if I do click, uh, if I do put the password in, it's going to take me into the settings. And now from here, I can do some crazy stuff. Now let's go back out, let's go back into Hexlock real quick, Hexlock. And the other thing I want to show you guys in Hexlock, which is very, very important, is if you tap this button, you can go to Media Vault. And basically in Media Vault, you can add pictures into the Media Vault or videos that only you can see via the Hexlock application. And to add a picture, you simply click plus, you grab the, um, the picture, you tap on it and then you say add to vault. Now as you can see now in the vault I have two pictures. Now if I were to go back out here into the gallery application and of course I'm gonna have to put my password in because I locked this application as well. When I go inside I see no pictures because the pictures that were in the gallery applications have been added to my media vault via hex lock. So if I go back really quick and if I want to see that picture, I go to Media Vault and these pictures are right here. So you get the basic idea and there's one more thing I want to show you. If you go over here, uh, if you go into the settings, you have some customization options. I'm not going to go over them, but I just want you to take a look at these really quick and just get a sensation of some of the customization tactics available uh, in this application. And of course, you can edit your profiles. So here's the office profile, okay, if I click edit, what I can do is I can change the name of the profile and I can change the icon of the profile and of course I can add multiple profiles so if I'm in the um, like I said if I go to the cafe I can actually pick a profile for that location or if I'm in school I can pick a profile for the school so for instance if I was at school there might be apps that I need that I usually have under lockdown that's why you have profiles. So you create a profile and you uh, create locks on applications based on your location. Again, great form, great functionality, and that does it for me. It's free also, which is a plus, so go grab it right now. Let's move on to the next application. Now the next app is also one of my favorites. It's called Tape It. It's a wallpaper generator. Now, the great thing with Tapeit is, first of all, it's free, but you do have some in-app purchase options. But Tapeit basically is an infinite wallpaper generator that generates wallpapers using unique patterns and color schemes. Alrighty? 
it does not download anything from the internet it just programmatically generates new wallpapers even the wallpaper you see in the background right now has been created by tape it so let me go in this guy and show you some of the unique features that i <laughs> i really enjoy so let's take a look at it all right so basically the tape it application works with swipe gestures so if you swipe up it simply generates a new wallpaper if you swipe down it goes back to the previous wallpaper you just had now let's say you swipe up and you like this new wallpaper but you don't like the colors all you do is swipe left right I mean and that's going to change the colors of this same scheme let's do that one more time take a look at that the colors simply change but the wallpaper remains the same. So what if you like the colors, but you don't like the actual pattern that was generated? You can swipe to the left, and that's gonna retain the colors, the color scheme, but it's going to give you a new texture, a new um, pattern. So let's go back, do the swipe left one more time. It's gonna keep this color scheme, and it's gonna give you a brand new pattern that might look a little bit better. And again, let's swipe up to go forward, get a new wallpaper. And uh, once you decide on the wallpaper that you like, you simply click this button and that changes your wallpaper. It even exits the application and quickly demonstrate, demonstrates how the wallpaper looks in the background. So let's quickly go back in there. I want to show you one more thing here. Now these two buttons over here, you can use this uh, dislike and like option to basically rate the wallpapers and the app learns what kind of patterns you dislike and what kind of patterns you like. So in the future, it's going to generate different wallpapers based on your likes. And finally, you can also double tap and that starts the slideshow. So it gives you uh, various different um, options that you will be getting very soon. So that's one slideshow right there. That's another potential wallpaper you may get today or tomorrow. There's more of course to this application, but I just wanna give you a quick idea so you can go grab this guy and you can start to play with it and um, it's free to get so no need to wait the link is in the description below now the next step i want to talk about is called hd widgets and this is something i've been using for years and years and years and i never get sick of it because it has so many options for customization so let me show you how to add widgets using hd widgets first and foremost you download the application and you install it right and then you just go to an empty screen press and hold go to widgets and look for HD widgets, they're right here. If you tap it, as you can see, you get various options, okay? You've got different layouts, you've got different sizes, you can do a one by one, you can do a two by one, five by one, four by one. Let me just pick one of the popular um, widgets over here. This is the one that a lot of people use. So let's just grab this guy and drop it right over here. And let's see what happens. So basically what happens when you drop it on the screen is the customization screen comes. Now here, if you look at it carefully, you can pick different styles. So as you can see, the header right here is in the middle, which is the clock. I can do it to the left. I can do it to the right. And if I scroll over, I can even do something like this. So this is the um, weather widget with smart statistics. And of course, if I scroll over, you can even do custom statistics. Now the great thing is, let's just go over here. I'm not gonna go into full details. But I can show you guys that you can easily change the colors and it's a very nice flat design. You can go over here, you can change the opacity so I can actually make this look more transparent if I want to or in the middle or I can just give it maximum uh, brightness. And of course you can change the tile, uh, you can change the texture, you can change anything that you want. As you can see we have a gradient texture right now. And if you go to clock, you can choose different clocks. I can choose a clock that like this, or maybe like this, a little bolded. And if I go to clock, I can change the color of that clock as well. So if I go over here, I can pick a red clock. So you get the idea of the extreme and deep customization possible with this HD widgets application. You can pick different styles. Uh, you can change the background color, the clock color, the clock font. You can change what's down here. You can change everything. And then when you're done, you click this button and it goes right on your screen. All right, so that's one thing you can do. Let me just show you one more thing because there are other options. This is not just about clocks. So if you go into widgets and if I go to HD widgets, 
If I scroll down, I can actually pick something that could be a bunch of switches. So if I go down over here, let's just grab this guy right here. It's a five by one. Let's put it right over here. And look at, look at that, I can create switches. So Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, voice search, uh, brightness controller, or I can do a forecast, or I can do a text clock. You can do whatever you want. And again, you can change the background of everything as you please. On top of that, you can go to the Play Store and you can install more themes. So if I tap this guy over here, you can click add more, and it's gonna show you all these different extras and themes you can download, alrighty? And again, uh, uh, HD widgets is a dollar. It's worth every single penny. You will get it once and you will never need to download any other widgets application again. Let's move on to the next application. All right, so the next app I wanna talk about is called Office Lens. Again, it's a free app. And basically what it does is it trims, enhances, and makes pictures of whiteboards and other documents. So basically, let's say you have a document, a receipt, or maybe even a lecture on a whiteboard that you want to save somewhere. You simply go and launch the application. You pick the kind of document you're taking a picture of. Let's just say document for now. And what Office Lens will do is it will digitize it for you. This means that you will be able to have digital copies of printed material. So let me just give you a quick example. So basically, like this, I simply put it back here. It actually recognizes the print, and then you can take a picture of it, and it's going to save that picture into your vault. So that takes the picture, and then here's a document. And as you can see, my fingerprint is at the bottom. Let me just trim that, tap the trim button, and take that finger off just like that click OK and then when you're ready you tap that save icon and you can save this as a word document or an image document as you can see absolutely fantastic now the next step I want to talk about is called a flashlight and I know there's a lot of flashlight apps out there but if you haven't gotten this one you should get it right away first of all it's free and it's got a gorgeous interface and there's no ads whatsoever it's made by Asus. So let's uh, launch this thing. Let me show you quickly what it does. So here's a flashlight and there's the button. And what you can do is you can actually have this blinking or you can send out a stress signal. So if I have the light on, I can set it to just blink. Or if I want to send a stress signal, I can just tap this guy and that's going to produce a stress signal. And that's not the only thing you can do, of course. You turn this off. And of course, the other thing you can do is you can use the front screen as a flashlight as well. So basically, you tap on screen and you can choose any of these colors that you want. You can change the brightness using this dial right over here. And then when you're ready, you can press this button and it's going to give you a flashlight for the color that you picked. Now, you can also use the blinking over here. If I tap this, you can get it to blink. And there's three levels of blinking. So if I tap it one time, that's what you get. One more time, you get the slow one. And then one more time, you get a slightly faster one. I can do the same thing with the stress signal. If I tap this guy, you can do this kind of stress signal. Or if I tap it again, it changes the, 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 the intervals at which the stress signal gives out signals. And again, if you don't want to use these, you just tap this guy. And uh, if you use the front screen, and if you just turn on the light, you can do the same thing, okay? You can change the frequency of the flash from fast to slow, okay? So that's all up to you. Again, it's free. It's got a simple interface. It does everything you need it to do, and there's no ads. This is the only dedicated flashlight application that I use. And the next app I want to talk about is Smart Tools. Now, this guy is $3, but again, it's worth every single penny. And the reason is because it has a lot of stuff going on inside it. So if I tap this guy, you'll get the table on which your tools are just sitting. You've got rulers, you've got unit converters, you've got distance, distance measuring tools, uh, you've got sound tools, compasses, and lights. And with the lights, you have a flashlight, we just talked about that, but beyond that, you have other things like a magnifier. Now let me just show you the magnifier really quick. If I put this guy right over here, let's just put something over here, and you can magnify onto this thing, and you can even activate the light so you can actually inspect the object with more light and more carefully, okay, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's the magnifier. You do have the flashlight. You have a compass if you need it. 
Let's close that for a second. That's the compass. Go back out here. You have a sound meter. You can actually measure the amount of sound you're producing. Even tells you. Um, so let me just shout factory. So that was a busy street or an alarm clock that I just did. So let me go back over here. Uh, you've got now, if you know what that is, you even got a vibrometer at your disposal. Now, let's go back out. You've got a unit converter. And, of course, you can convert anything to anything. So, you can convert meters to miles. You can convert uh, kilograms to pounds, whatever you need to do. The options are all on the top here. You even have something that can measure distance. Okay, so I haven't actually used this because I don't need it but you can measure distances from certain objects. Now, there's a special way to use this, and you can figure that out if you download this application. And of course, you've got your uh, rulers. You've got various different options over here. You've got this guy, and you also have a level meter. So basically, you can either download these apps one by one, and you may even have to pay a couple bucks for each of these utility tools or you can get smart tools and you can have all these bundled together with no advertisements and great functionality. Now, I do want to share one more background application, a wallpaper application. This one is called Backdrops. Now, the other one that I showed you, Tape It, was generating custom textures based on a program. Now, this one is actual wallpapers. You can explore and find the one you like. And uh, when you find something you like, you simply tap on it. You can add it to your favorites and you can just tap this button set and that's going to set your wallpaper. So if I go back out now, that's the wallpaper that I have, which is not bad. So if I go back out here, um, I did add to this to my favorites. So when you add something to your favorites, it goes into the favorites tab. So you can look at it later. And you can also go back here to community. And this is just uh, wallpapers uploaded by other users. And you can do it as well simply by tapping this button. Okay, so you sign in and you upload and of course you can tap this over here you can sort by most popular if you want to or most recent so as you can see that's a very popular wallpaper right there or this guy and if you tap here you get access to some settings and I encourage you to play with this but you can grab backdrop it's a very nice little wallpaper application the collections the the selections are very rich and very nice and of course it's free now, here's one application that I've been using, again, for years and years and years. I don't get tired of it because it's really a unique little camera. So it's called Paper Camera. And let's go right inside. You can get this for free or you can pay for the full version. But basically, it converts the things that you're taking a picture of into cartoonish, comic-y style. So here's my hand. And as you can see, I can take a picture like that. Let's put something right over here. Let's put this thing right here, this wireless charger. And uh, you can also scroll through different effects. So I have effects like SketchUp. So that's a sketch. It can even sketch my hand, my face, anything. Uh, scroll through. You've got the aquarella effect. You've got the old printer effect and all these nice neon cola effects. And when you're done, basically, what you do is let's just go over here. You take a picture. And then as with every other app, you can immediately share this with your friends or upload it to your social media. If I tap this, you know, Facebook, Twitter, messages, whatever you need. Fantastic. Like I said, it's free to get or you can pay for the full version. And I think you can also buy some add-ons if you need to. Now, another app that I totally adore is called CPU-Z. CPU-Z basically gives you a lot of important system information. And this is mostly for people that are into tech. So if you're a person that is not into tech, you may not really appreciate this application. But if you're a tech, a geek, you may love to have it. Okay, so let's launch this and take a look at it. So it's CPU-Z. Let's tap it and let's see what information we gather. So the first thing you see is you get, you get to see what kind of uh, processor you're using. So I'm using a Snapdragon 820 processor on the Samsung Galaxy S7. And not only that, it gives you a breakdown of how many cores you have. So it's saying you have four cores. It's telling you each core speed is this, 307 megahertz to 2.15 gigahertz. And at the bottom here, it breaks down each CPU and gives you a real-time CPU load. So my CPU is being used at 14%, 12%, whatever. So I can swipe over, get even more information. You know, it gives you the screen resolution, screen density, how much RAM you have. If I go to battery over here, it tells you the health of the battery, the level, the power source right now is the battery. It is, in fact, discharging. 
even gives you a temperature and voltage usage. All right, so that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, seeing these little specs, if you're a tech person, gives you a lot of satisfaction. So if I swipe over and swipe back, it's going to actually use the CPU and you saw that little spike in usage. Okay, that's fantastic. Again, a free application, occasional ads here and there. And we did talk about widgets and I told you guys I only use one widget, but that's only for clocks and switches and weather. Now there is another widget that I absolutely adore. It's called the calendar widget. And this thing is basically very minimalistic, but very beautiful. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a calendar widget and probably the only one you're gonna need because it has a beautiful, gorgeous interface. And I just love to look at it. It blends in with the background image, very nice because it's transparent. Okay, so again, you go to the widgets and you simply tap on it and you put it where you please. And it looks absolutely fantastic. This is just another way to enhance the look and feel of your phone.